Tonight, an award show controversy. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is, of course, a liberal icon. Her name graces honors from the Opperman Foundation to recognize women. Women like Queen Elizabeth, Diane von Furstenberg, and Barbara Streisand, who all previously won the award. But this year's winners are raising some eyebrows. The award was expanded to include men and women. This year's honorees include Elon Musk, Rupert Murdoch, Michael Milken, a Wall Street banker who served some time in jail, and Sylvester Stallone. They will all be receiving the RBG Award. Now, Martha Stewart will also uh, be among those honored. And Ginsburg's children are not happy with the selections and now want her name removed from these awards. Joining us now, James Ginsburg, the late Supreme Court Justice's son. James, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, these awards, Jim, they're intended to honor women who exemplify qualities of empathy and humility. So how did they end up with this list this year? I haven't got a clue. You'd have to ask uh, the people behind the Opperman Foundation that question. Uh, yeah, the original purpose of the award was, uh, I have it right here, to uh, recognize an extraordinary woman who has exercised a positive and notable influence on society and served as an exemplary role model in both principles and practice. And uh, whether you want to discuss the wisdom of opening up that to men or not is one thing, but I, I think you would be hard pressed uh, to apply that um, description to people like Elon Musk and Rupert Murdoch. And that's why the family is so upset, uh, not just the children, the whole family and her clerk family. Uh, her law, in fact, it was her, one of her law clerks who sent the letter to the foundation saying, please rethink this. Uh, and of course, I've been contacted by people I know and people even that I don't know um, about this, saying how upset they are. Uh, my sister even got uh, got a, a threatening <laughs> letter. That, um, because, and one of the things we want to do here is set the record straight. The family had nothing to do with this. We were not consulted. We are vehemently against this appropriation of our mother's name and this insult to her legacy. Now, the Opperman Foundation uh, has not responded to CNN's request from comment. But how do you think your mother would respond to this list of honorees? I think she'd be appalled. Uh, I think these are people who pretty much uh, are stand in against all the things that she stood for in terms of trying to bring people in, into the uh, make the world a better place for people striving for equality and for a more inclusive uh, world where everybody is treated with respect. I think. Uh, the, the, um, you know, one of our law clerks made a great analogy because I should mention that we looked at their 990, which is the form. A not -for I run a not-for-profit, so I don't know all about this uh, form that a not-profit has to give the government saying, OK, here's our purpose. And their form actually has the description of the award, very almost exactly the same description as I just read you. And it's a little bit like, uh, as one of our law clerks put it, if somebody gave money to a university to build a physics lab, and they built a football stadium instead. It so violates the purpose of what uh, was intended here. And this is not what my mother signed on to, you know, when the award was first uh, created. And is it that you have a problem with the award being expanded to men, or is it just these men in particular? Well, we could discuss that. But yeah, the, the particular awardees uh, and you know, we can discuss the wisdom uh, of each one, but the two that obviously stand out here are, are Elon Musk and and Rupert Murdoch. Uh, when you think of people, you know, trying to create a more just society, which of course was mom's ultimate goal, uh, those are probably about the last names <laughs> that would come to mind. Are there any names uh, at the top of your head that come to you who you think would have been more appropriate recipients? Oh, I mean, uh, I, I, there, there are so many. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to even begin to uh, suggest. I think you know, previous awardees are are good examples of that. But there are so many people try actually trying to do good in the world, uh, and that was you know the goal uh, originally of this award was to recognize those kind of people. And you know, I don't want to single out one over another because uh, I, you know, would be doing an injustice to I'm sure all the great people out there who would be appropriate uh, recipients, but clearly the ones they've named are not. <laughs>
going forward, uh, how, how do you plan to rectify this to make sure this doesn't happen again next year or the year after? Well, uh, as another famous Supreme Court justice once said, sunlight is the best disinfectant. So we're starting, and thank you so much for having me on so that I can set the, the record straight. Um, I don't want to speak to what our other plans might be if the foundation doesn't see the wisdom of desisting and, and uh, ending this uh, desecration of my mother's memory. Um, but uh, I will say that uh, we will continue to fight this. Jim Ginsburg, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much.